What is going on? I believe I'm live. Give me a hard second, guys. Am I live? I'm streaming on Kick and Facebook, so I'm going to see if um see if it worked. Oh shit, it is working. Great. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Welcome to the Thursday Night Podcast with your boy, Frankie Mary Yang. Uh, we don't have uh, Peter here today because he is traveling. So safe travels to Peter and uh, his wife, Paku. Uh, it's hella liking, huh? All right, we're gonna have to deal with it because <sighs> breathe. Let God take control. Let God take over. Man, lately I've been just giving it all to God and giving Him the will to take over my life and my decisions, man. And it's been great. And I have a story to tell you guys later. But we are live on Kick and Facebook. Those are the only two channels that we are live right now. We stopped doing Twitch because Twitch has been a pain in the butt. And um, I don't think we're going to grow there. So we're on Kick. Sweet. It's good, right? By the way, guys, what do you guys think about the new hair, man? <laughs> Yo, um, I went out and this Vietnamese lady, she was so kind, did it for me at a really good price. And I wanted to change it up. Um, I saved my hair like this long, I believe. You saw my hair last week. But, yeah, she gave me a nice perm and I'm like, man, I feel 10 years younger. You know what I'm saying? So, but today I have... Plenty, plenty, plenty ahead of us. It's going to be fun today. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention is that today is going to be a safe place for all of us. Whenever I'm with Peter, I'm always talking or he's always talking. We're always trying to get the bob moving quicker. But today, we're going to chill we're gonna just chill and make some decisions together yes that's what we're doing um so what had happened uh last week um i didn't i don't think i told peter this uh but the day last week i was at the hotel y'all saw me in the hotel so that night i'm not sure if you guys believe in uh like sleep paralysis or get them a lot so that night on that morning that friday morning i i uh felt this negative energy uh, at, at like 3 a.m um at my feet and then this negative energy it crawled up to my shoulder right and this is one thing that i haven't done like ever when I get sleep paralysis, right, is pray. I prayed for the first time during my sleep paralysis. I prayed in my head. And by the way, I went to this trip with my friend, and he was sleeping on the other bed. So while I was praying to Jesus Christ and God, I'm telling you, when I prayed, like, I didn't know I can pray like that. Like, as if I've been praying for the longest time. Like, it was like a legit prayer. And after my prayer was done, I heard a, 
I heard my friend that was still sleeping. He said, "Amen." I'm like, and I freaked out. I'm like, "Whoa!" Like, I didn't pray out loud. How did he know I was praying? And yeah, he he said, "Amen." During my prayer, after my prayer, and I was so in shocked to where like everything vanished, and I I woke up and fully woke up, and I was like, "Holy shit, what just happened? Did I just witness angels around me that protect me? Like I asked for help, and they came, and my friend, no sleeping in the bed." He like heard my spirit speaking and said, "Amen." And I'm like, "Holy shit, dude! That was an experience that I wouldn't know." Like, I was just so shocked. Like, I wish people could experience this. Anyways, um, I'm um slowly getting the faith of God. Um, blessings to my church people. Uh, Asha, if you're listening, and Kyle and Jackson, they've been great. They've been inviting me out to church. I've been actively been at church, so it's been good. And every time I get out from church, I always feel like this great energy, like this positive energy. And I'm just defeating my bad thoughts, you know, my demons. Uh, I haven't fully defeated them yet. They're still here. And I, matter of fact, they're attacking me even harder because um, I'm moving towards God. And they don't like it, man. And that day, when that shit happens, the sea palace has happened, they knew I was getting closer to God. And they came, and God came and saved me. I appreciate it. I really do. I don't know how to explain the experience, man. It was magical. It was scary, but it was also magical. Um, so the next morning, I woke, he woke up, but I couldn't wait to tell him. I was like, yo, dude, like, you remember last night? Like, did, were you were you awake? Did you, do you remember, you know, saying amen? He was like, nah, 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 I didn't, I didn't say that. And I was like, so I told him the whole story, and he was just kind of like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, my friend, like, that happens a lot when I'm with my other friends. I'm like, holy shit. Uh, what the fuck? What do you mean that happens a lot? Are you a fucking angel? <laughs> like, what the fuck? But he didn't really like it. He just shook it off. But for me, it was, uh, it was magical. Um, I told my mom about it. I told my brother about it. Um, yeah, great experience. Highly recommend y'all just tune into God, man. Tune into God and, um, Yeah. Be sober, I guess. I'm kidding. I'm not forcing anybody to try to be sober. But my journey of being sober has been great. Going to parties sober has been difficultly great. It's been a journey. I love this journey. And I just highly recommend people to, you know, try to be sober. And see how that goes, you know. And... So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the today's segment. Um, I mean, I'm working on OBS right now. And it seems like my computer has been doing pretty decent. So I'm going to transition to the desktop. And um, yeah. Bang. Hey, shout out to Peter too. Whoever's uh, Peter, I know he's um, out and about. Hey, if you're watching, bro, just know I miss you. We're watching. Would you rather? Let's go. Okay. Can you can you guys hear this or no? It just sounds weird whenever I'm listening to myself, you know? Eat a 
live cricket that's fucking nasty or raw oyster come on dude raw oyster that's luxury i want to eat oysters all day the hell what the fuck 52 percent would rather eat a fucking live cricket fucking disgusting dude oh my god are you fucking kidding me Lifetime supply of my favorite drink, guarantee, because I drink, I mean, if I can get my favorite drink, what is my favorite drink? Uh, something healthy, right? I would choose something healthy, like a, um, like a smoothie or something, like a greens smoothie. I wouldn't mind, I mean, I spend $7 on a dumbass drink already, and the snacks, like, I, I don't know, I, I can care less about snacks. Fifty eight percent on favorite snack, you fucking fat asses, dude. This is why America is fucking obese. Have a milkshake or a smoothie. Smoothie, of course. Smoothie. Yeah, sounds about right. Unlimited sushi or unlimited tacos. Unlimited sushi or unlimited tacos? That one's hard. That one's hard. I think I'm going to go with unlimited tacos because I eat tacos all the time. Lingua? Al Pastor? Yeah, I'm going to go with tacos. But, but I have eaten good sushi, like fucking high-end sushi. $80 a fucking roll with gold on top sushi. Ooh. If I had sushi, like high end sushi, I'll do sushi. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with sushi. I'm gonna go with sushi. Yeah. Eat only fruits or only vegetables. Ooh. I'm gonna go with only fruits. I love fucking fruits and they're sweet sometimes. I love veggies too, they green around, but I think I'm gonna have to pass for the veggie because I can only eat so much broccoli in a certain time span. 91%? That's a huge difference. Holy shit. I mean, who the fuck eats pie all the time? That's nasty. Eat cake. Cake. Cake over pie. Yeah, sounds about right. Lifetime supply of tea, man. Like, I mean, I already have um, so much tea and coffee, but, but, but to be to be frank, to be frank, I do drink a lot of coffee. I don't drink enough tea. I did drink uh, chai t today. Chai is tea, right? Chai is tea. So, um, I'm gonna say tea. The reason why I'm saying tea is because it seems more healthy, and I know I should drink more tea other than coffee. That's why. I should, that's what I'm saying tea. That's the only reason why I'm choosing tea. If you want to create viral TikTok videos, interesting. Interesting. All right, next one. Next one. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I just did this. Who? Okay, the oyster thing. Who the fuck chose cricket? You're fucking nasty. Eat a fucking oyster. Trust. If you eaten a shrimp before or a, a lobster, you would love oysters, dude. And not even that, like it, it brings up your testosterone, and you get super horny when you eat oysters. It's true, and your semen is healthy. So, oysters. What would you rather? That's this one. Most recent one, of course. Have the strength of 
Superman or have the strength of Superman or the agility of Spider-Man? Uh Fuck. I was going to say that was difficult. But I would choose Superman though. I mean, if I I can fly and I can bro, I'm basically god at that point. The fuck? Ooh, fly like Iron Man. I'm trying to make this a space bar. Come on, play, play, damn it. Eat pizza for every meal or never eat. That's nasty as hell. Eat pizza for every meal or never eat pizza again? I'm never going to eat pizza again. Who the fuck wants to eat pizza every day? Oh my god, I can't press pause. Can my space bar not be the... There it is. Iron Man all day. Because Iron Man is rich, so... You know, and he can do anything. He can make robots and stuff. I mean, if, you, if I have Iron Man suit legitimately, I will do stupid shit with the Iron Man suit. So, and teleporting... Bro, I'm Iron Man. I can just fly there. Why would I need to teleport? So I'm already getting the best of both worlds with the Iron Man suit. So why would I get it? Just just teleport. That's one ability. When you can go with Iron Man, you have like freaking riches. You can fly. You can be look cool. You could still fly to places and technically teleport. So Iron Man. Wait, Batman is that smart? Batman is a genius? I didn't know Batman was a genius. But I'm going to go with the healing power of Wolverine. Because, bro, I can never get injured. Like, can you imagine that? I'm basically immortal at that point. Duh, like, who intelligence of a Batman? Okay, hold on. Let me think about that too now. That is, that is actually... A good option too because if I was as smart as they say Batman is I might I might just control the world I mean I might be like the new Elon Musk you know what I'm saying I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go Batman I'm gonna go Batman yeah invisibility or flash. What the fuck am I gonna do? Invincible. Like, what's the point of that? Okay, I'm gonna go with flash. Speed is basically teleporting, so I'm gonna go with flash. I'm gonna go so fast that I'm gonna fucking track back into time and go back in time, and, and yeah, so I'm gonna be flash. I, I can't do shit. Invincible, like, what's the point of that? Am I gonna just stalk somebody? Am I gonna eavesdrop on people? Am I... There's no point of that ability. So I'm gonna go with speed. Ninety-two. Wow, that's a huge difference. Able to control weather storm. Or have the mind reading like a bit ability like Professor X. <sighs> Why the fuck would I need to control the weather for? Like, that's so dumb. Of course, I'm going to read minds of Professor. But then if I, can I choose to read minds? Whose mind I'm going to read? If What if it's just like to the point where like, oh man, that's, that's actually disgusting. Do I really want to know what people are thinking? I don't know, man. That's going to be disturbing, you know? It's going to be a lot of stress if I... First off, I don't want to control any storm, so I'm definitely throwing that out. So I'm going to go with the reading the minds. For sure. Have the shape-shifting powers of Mystique or the telekinetic abilities of Jean Grey? Uh, huh... It's basically, uh, so telekinetic is basically what 
reading thoughts one not right so i'm gonna go with um shape shifting powers why the fuck would i need that for like is there ever a use for that like maybe whenever i need to uh, unlock my door when i lock my keys in my car i probably need that power but i'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that shape shifting telekinetic why would i need that for that's I think I would need that, actually. That would be kind of cool. I'm going to go with telekinetic this time. Be a member of the Avengers or the Justice League. I'm going to go with the Justice League because they're more independent and Superman is a fucking god. Wait, the Avengers, Thor is a god, too. Nah, 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 nah. The Justice League because... I love Hawk and Iron Man too. I'm gonna go with Justice League though, because they're more independent, you know. Give it to me. If you want to create viral TikTok videos, use interesting. Interesting. Alright, one one last one, one last one, one last one. Eat only French fries for a month or eat only chicken nuggets for a month. What the fuck? I'm gonna go with chicken nuggets, bro. Chicken nuggets. McDonald's chicken nuggets. I'm gonna go with chicken nuggets. French fries? I mean, you can only do so much with French fries, right? I mean, I'm gonna go with chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Nuggets, nuggets, nuggets. Nuggets for sure. Yo, what up, Peter? What's going on, G? Uh, pause. I'm gonna go with unlimited burgers, bro. You know how many different burgers there are? And, oh, pizza too, though. But I think about pizza, like, I can get sick of pizza real quick. A burger is fattening as fuck. It's one of the most fattening food in America. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go with, um, burgers. Burgers. It sounds about right. Would you rather give up ketchup? Uh, thanks, Peter. Appreciate the compliment, brother. I um got it done today just for this podcast. Or give, up on your give up ketchup or give up mayonnaise on your burger and fries? Okay, this has got to be a white person question, dog, because. Mayonnaise? I don't eat mayonnaise like that. I do eat a lot more ketchup, but mayonnaise and ketchup is fucking bomb. I don't know if y'all tried that yet. It's bomb as hell. But see, but they said just give up burgers, mayonnaise, and the burgers and fries, not like anything else. So I'm gonna go give up the mayonnaise on the burger and fries because I don't really eat mayonnaise on my burger anyways. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. Play it, damn it. Ketchup, bro. You can't give up ketchup. Hmm. That one's a good one. Because if you eat a hot dog without the bun, that's gay as fuck, bro. Especially just eating a pretend dick. The bun makes it not gay. So I'm going to go with the hamburger because you're just eating a piece of meat without the bun. So that's cool. Like, I, I, I hate the bun anyway on the burger. So um, I'm going to go with eat the hamburger without the bun. For sure. What the fuck? 83%? Without the hot dog? Damn. Would you rather have a milkshake or a soda? A soda all day. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go with milkshake. I'm going to go with milkshake because I don't get milkshakes as much. And milkshake for me is like a luxury. So, 
of course soda i have too many sodas like soda is like easy you know and it's it's not like luxury so i'm gonna go with the milkshake for sure would you rather eat only fast food for the rest of your life or never eat fast food again what the fuck I would say never eat fast food again. But then again, I eat nothing but fast food, bro. I eat a lot of fast food. I eat, I eat fast food at least once, once or twice a week. Shout out to KFC down the street and McDonald's, man. I, I, I eat McDonald's. McDonald's pretty fucking good. I have to admit that. I'm saying never eat fast food again. Because I'm trying to stay healthy. I'm trying to stay away from fast food. But you know goddamn well I'm going to go back to that goddamn KFC and order that number two. The four piece chicken with the mashed potatoes with a freaking Sprite. You know goddamn well I'm going to order that within a week. My bank account knows that for sure. I'm going to go and never eat. Fast food again. You got some fat ass motherfuckers out there. Like 74% chose eat fast food every fucking damn day. <clears throat> That's a shame. Would you rather eat pizza with pineapple as a topping or eat a burger with peanut butter as a topping? What the fuck is so wrong with pineapples on pizza? Like, how is that such a controversial, like, topic? Pineapple on pizza is fucking phenomenal. Like, why is that such a conversational, like, argument, dude? Like, holy shit. Pineapple on pizza is great. That's not bad at all. Eat a, eat a burger with peanut butter as a topping? Who the fuck does that? Who eats peanut butter with a burger? That's retarded. That's retarded. I'm gonna go with the pineapple pizza, dude. Pineapple all day. What the fuck? Sixty? No, ninety-six percent would rather eat a, a fucking burger with peanut butter. Y'all disgusting. Y'all disgusting. Pineapple on pizza is great. Peanut butter on a burger? We're not friends. That's 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 fucking nasty, dude. That's that's nasty as hell. Alright. Okay, Eiffel Tower. What the fuck? Who the fuck want to go to New York versus Paris? New York. It is nothing but the Eiffel Tower, Paris. Ugh, oh, can't believe it. Wait, what? What just happened? Okay, so explore the Great Wall of China or uh, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu for sure. I mean. Wait, people would rather go to the Great Wall of China? I I, I want to go too, to be honest. But was it a seed? Like it's just a fucking wall, bro. But Machu Picchu at Peru, though, there's a lot of great sceneries out there. And there's sixty-seven percent rather go to the Great Wall of China than Machu Picchu in Peru. Mind blown. Disgusting. Rags has a Eiffel Tower of Vegas. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Pe uh, peanut butter on a burger. That's that's definitely an American thing, dude. That can't be. This is majority of this is voted from people, white people. I'm gonna say. There's no way, like. Uh, I'm gonna go with the pyramids in Egypt, uh, and just because it's the most one of the most iconic ancient um lo like locations ever. Um, but I never knew. I didn't know there was a iconic space uh, location in India. So I'm gonna go with the Egypt. Hey, hey, sh thanks, thanks, Anthony. Appreciate the compliment, man. People rather go to India than the pyramid? Safari for sure, there's no doubt. We're going on a safari on that national park versus the helicopter. Okay, so if you fly over the Grand Canyon, like that's really it. There's nothing much more to that. But the safari at the national park, you get to see lions, you get to see elephants, you get to see mother nature, you get to see live animals, bro. You get to experience the wild. You can be a National Geographic in real life, dude. Trust, 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 trust. People rather go see the Grand Canyon over freaking Mother Nature? People rather go see the fucking dumb Grand Canyon over the freaking the safari with animals. You get to see elephants. You get to witness the wild, like a lion hunting and eating its flesh in a freaking gazelle. I mean, do you not want to like witness that? And other than the Grand Canyon, like it's so boring. The Grand Canyon, dog. Like, I don't know what the fuck people are thinking about, man. That's unreal. What the fuck? The Acropolis in Athens? That's still a thing? Holy shit! I mean, I'm gonna go with the Acropolis in Athens for sure, bro. What the hell? The Colosseum in Rome. I can always go that some other time, but. Yeah, the, the Grand Canyon is amazing, dude. But the, uh, you know, Anthony, the thing about this, like, you're witnessing, like, a lion, like, at his, you know, nature, and it's, it's just chilling, like, you're within Mother Nature. The Grand Canyon is so, like, it's just one scenery, that, that's it. But... When you're at nature, you don't know what the fuck is going to go on, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know what you're going to witness, you know? You, you're not sure if you're going to die, too, you know? I mean, I mean, I'm, I like to live life at the edge. What up, Nacho? What's going on? Nacho! Okay, why the fuck? Okay, hold on. I know... Hiking to Mount Everest is probably, you know, one of life's goal is to hike up there. But you know goddamn well you're not going to survive and you're going to die for sure. So I'm going to say walk along the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. Because I've never been to Australia. And, um, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to go hike Mount Everest. I'm going to change my mind because I feel like there's going to be sharks at that reef. And I'm terrified by sharks. I'm not going to get stung by a fucking jellyfish. No way. That looks like jellyfish land. So I'm not even, I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to go hike Mount Everest and risk my life. Interesting. But not not a lot of hikers, huh? Okay, what the fuck is in the Sydney Opera House? Like, 
how, why is that such a special place? Of course, I'm gonna go to fucking Rio, bro. That's where freaking Fast and Furious was at, man. And like, look, look, look how beautiful it looks. Like, come on, is that okay? By the way, is that Jesus Christ? Is that Jesus Christ as a statue? The Christ statue. What? Who? Who is that? I don't know who that is. But I'd rather go to that statue because that statue is way more iconic than Sydney. The hell. Yo, motherfuckers would rather go see a fucking building? Oh my god, this is a fucking opera building, bro. That's that's crazy. That's insane. Oh, one last one. One last one. We're going to move on. Yeah, bro. Brazil all day. Who the fuck want to go to Australia for a freaking building, dude? Alright, this one, I think this one should be fun. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what the f people rather give up the life right now they have a hundred kids what the fuck that's a huge difference dude 95 percent to five percent i mean i rather have kids and a hundred kids and that's awesome right isn't that a cool thing i mean i'm probably gonna be broke as fuck you know, I'm trying to raise 100 kids. But I'd rather have 100 kids and die right now. What the hell? Yeah. Humanity has dissipated. Very disappointing. Would you rather lose weight by thinking or lose weight by eating? That's interesting. Ah, that's tough. Yeah, you rather you really rather give up your life than get a hundred kids, dude? Come on, in no, in no way, bro. Y'all fucking trolling. You're trolling, dude. I know you're. I know you're trolling, dude. There's no way. Okay, so uh, rather lose weight by thinking or lose weight by eating? I'm gonna say lose weight by eating because if you lose weight by eating, I'm gonna eat all the time, right? I think all the time. I think literally every day. I'm going to be skinny as fuck if I lose weight by thinking. So I'm going to say lose weight by eating, dude. That's, that's, that sounds right. There's some fat asses in this bitch, but 82%. He's saying have kids because he doesn't have, because he doesn't have kids. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't have a kid, but I would like a kid. I have nephews and, and nieces, but, um, giving up your life, giving up your life though, and not giving a hundred life. Come on, man. That's, that's selfish, bro. That's very selfish. Eyebrows or lose all the hair on your head. What the fuck? Lose your eyebrows or lose all the hair. On your head? I'm going to go lose the eyebrows, man, because I don't know if I can be bald. I'm already turning bald, man. I'm trying to hide this my bald forehead with my freaking perm, bro. Look at that. Look at that big ass forehead, bro. Look. Look at that. I'm trying to hide that ready, man. I'm already getting bald, man. I can't do that. I can lose the eyebrow. It's cool. I've lost an eyebrow before. But forever though? Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a tattoo or something, bro. I'm gonna go lose eyebrow. People would rather lose hair than their eyebrow? What? Would you rather have no internet or have no personal vehicle? What kind of shit is this? No internet? No internet? My life would be doomed with no internet. A personal vehicle? I can do Uber all day, dude. I don't need a personal vehicle. I can walk. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll just get a bike. I'll get an electric bike. It's as fast as a vehicle. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to have, have no personal vehicle for sure. That's, that's ridiculous. Have no internet. That's, 
You have to live this life with internet. That sounds about right. The 13% that selected no internet. I don't know. What do you guys? What do you guys do? I mean, how did you guys? You know. Always yell when talking, or always whisper. Oh, come on, man! If I'm always yelling when I'm talking, that's annoying, right? That's a lot of energy when I'm yelling. I'm gonna say always whisper when I'm talking, cause that's sexy. That's sensual. Right? right. How you doing, baby? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I can see that. What you doing? I love that. I love show. Bye, show. Yeah, Ant Man, in it, bro, in it all day. Fuck, I can survive without a car, dude. I can survive without a car. I'm gonna say, uh, always whisper when talking for sure, no doubt. Would you rather poop your pants in public or pee your pants in public? Pee, dude. The fuck? Because whenever I poop, I pee anyways. So I'm gonna get. You know, I'm gonna do both if I shit my pants. And I mean that when you shit your pants, you gotta clean that shit up even like you ruin your underwear. It smells and you get like a lump in your fucking ass the whole damn day. When you piss your pants, it's not as bad as you think, man. I've done it before. Oh no, actually I don't I don't think I've I pissed in the while well, I was in bed, but not not like in public. But I'd rather I'd rather piss in the pants for sure the 38 percent that selected shit in the pants what the fuck are you guys thinking dude would you rather lose your hearing hey that's true that's true. hard poop or soft poop mm. you know the soft one is the worst bro soft poop is the worst soft poop is the worst I'm gonna go even ah uh, oh, man, the hard poop though, it's like it's gonna bother you throughout the day because it's like having something stuck in your stuck in your butthole for the, for like the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go with the and then the soft poop, you have a chance of getting a rash. So I'm gonna go with the hard poop, man. I'm gonna go with the hard poop for sure. Lose your hearing or lose your sight? Fuck that, bro. I'm gonna say lose my hearing, dude. Everything's beautiful. Like, everything's so visual for me. I'm gonna, I mean, I can't imagine my life being blind, but I can learn sign language, bro, easily. Like, but lose your sight? You're saying that I don't get to see colors anymore? I don't get to look at my beautiful woman anymore? I don't get to see my family, like literally see my family anymore. But I can lose hearing. I can. What if? Yeah, like that's cool. I can. I can still communicate without hearing people. You know what I'm saying? So I rather I rather lose a hearing, lose a hearing for sure. Go deaf for sure. That's 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 the wise choice. The wise choice for sure. That's tough. <sighs> I'm gonna say always rain because um, the rain isn't as bad. Because the snow, if it always snow, it's tough, man. You might just live in the Antarctica and live life over there. I mean, obviously that's the reason why there's not a lot of um, people that lives in Antarctica because. There's snow, and it's hard to live around snow and be cold all the damn time. So I'm going to say always rain. I've been in Seattle. I lived in Seattle. I like the rain, and I'm going to go with rain, even though it is depressing as fuck, though. Rain all the time. It's, it's depressing. Vitamin C deficiency. Hey, right. Make it rain, baby. Yeah. I like, I like the fun. I like the fun. I love it. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, dude. Genius. What?
from having uh, snow? Bro, 78% says they rather have it be snow. That is insane. Are all these people from freaking um, Antarctica? That's insane, bro. Like, do you guys really hate the rain that much? The rain is not that bad, dude. 78%. That's a huge difference. Unreal, bro. Unreal. Hey Santana, yes, I'm doing solo today. Today, um, Peter is out on vacation. He's in Dallas. He's out there hanging out. He's supposed to go to the Bobby uh, Bobby Lee show, but they canceled. But he's still in Dallas. He went to Dallas, so he's he's out there um, and about. Okay, one last one, one last one, and then we could um, move on. I want to do a good one though. Oh my god. What the fuck? Would you rather live in permanent summer or Well, people rather choose uh Would you rather live in I'm trying to I'm trying to fix this. Chill, 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 chill. Permanent summer, of course. Yo, 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 yo. Pause, pause, pause. Would you rather have all the power in the world or have all the knowledge in the world? Wait, is it not pausing? Would you rather have a partner that does not like Bro, I can't pause it, dude. Partner? Now I pause this. Man, those are some pretty good ones. Alright, fuck it, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna pick a new one. Cause I already um my computer is so slow right now, man. This is my first time streaming on OBS, and it's 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 slowing everything down. I'm not sure why it's um. I mean, I know why it's acting up, but no, 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 no. What the hell? Okay, it's time. You know what? That was uh. The universe telling me that that was the end of that segment. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so the next segment I have, I know some of you guys are going to hate me for this. But we're going to go down the uh, beautiful Hmong girls and we're going to rate our beautiful Hmong ladies today. We're going to rate them from 1 to 10. 10 meaning super attractive I'm talking about supermodel attractive okay so uh, that is the rating okay I'm gonna see if I could um... just fix this real quick Give me a second, guys. Yeah, we're going to rate our beautiful Hmong girls today. Um, so, guys, thank you for being patient. Okay. Santana, what's going on? Transition. Yay! Let's go. So this segment, I'm going to just scroll down this page. Shout out to beautiful Hmong girls uh, page. So they post random uh, Hmong girls on. And I'm just going to go down and uh, rate them from 1 to 10. And uh, we'll go from there. So... Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. She's pretty. Wait, she's... she's She can't... Here's the thing. Like, I don't... I can't ever tell if these girls are over age or not. 
but from the look at her page and how she looks like I'm gonna give her a solid solid oh she 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 should we go on her page yeah I'm gonna sorry my computer is so damn slow I'm gonna give her a solid eight dude I have to admit that she looks like a mix. She looks like Thai mix, like almost like Lao Lao Asian. Um, bro. Okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say um yeah she's a good solid eight man. Whoever is dating her or who knows if you know her personally. Man, like, have her come by. I say, what's up, bro? You said seven? Oh, she she's a solid, solid eight. All right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna see if I could move my thing here real quick, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm just still trying to fix this. Thank you for your patience. All right, maybe if I did that. All right, cool. Okay, so I think she's a she's a solid eight, bro. With the monk clothes. Hmm. I I think that monk clothes. Yeah, yeah, eight. I think the monk clothes is kind of um kind of attractive too. Like I think that's a monk green pose. There's no way she's monk, right? All right, so you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to a page. Wait, make this my profile picture? The fuck? Hey, should I do that though? Hey guys, should I make one of these girls my profile picture? For a week? And how many guys hit me up? Okay, so I'm gonna. Bro, my computer is so slow right now, bro. The lag is real. As you guys can see, my arrow, right? Like, it's like... I want to do more, but I can't, man. Alright, so I'm gonna... Oh. <sighs> Come on. Wait. Follows your public post? Wait, she followed me? No way. Okay, I'm gonna add her. No way she follows me, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna add her. Come on, let me add. Damn it. There it is. Bro, my computer is so slow, bro. I know I keep on saying that. I gotta I gotta stop saying that, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna exit out. Solid eight. Moving on. Moving on. Hopefully she's over 18. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Who's this chick? Interesting. Oh. Hua. Shout out to Hua. She's a great photographer. Um, Let's see. Bro. Mm. What do you guys think? She kind of cute, I'll tell you. She kind of wifey looking. Uh, she wifey. I'm not sure if this lighting is great though. Shout out to Hua. Ah oh, man, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her a six. She's just not my type, you know. Beautiful girl, but she's just not my type. Beautiful though, beautiful. Um, uh, who's this chick? Another another whore client. I uh, mm. I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's just a little bit too much makeup for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give her. I can't give out sevens. No sevens today. Only eight. No sevens. No sevens. Cause seven is like mediocre, right? It's either you're going to be 8 or you're going to be 6. So I'm going to say 6 on this one. 6. 
I was gonna go with a seven, but I know I can't book. I can't say a seven, man. I can't say a seven. Okay. Um, man, this chick, how how forehead is? See this dog. She she's a Yang, right? Look at look at her. Look at her. Emily Yang, shout out to you. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, we Yang's got big ass foreheads, bro. I don't know what it is, but it's in the jeans, man. Her forehead is as big as mine, bro. Her forehead looks like a like a egg, just like mine, bro. And you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sister, but I'm gonna have to give you a good six point five because That forehead is talking to me, man. It's telling me something. So I'm going to give you a 6.5. She had a nice car, too. That, uh, looks, it's leather. It looks like a Toyota. Lexus. Maybe a Lexus. Uh, who's this chick? Uh, I don't really see her face. But if I can judge her from her covering half her face... I'm gonna say she's uh she's a solid she's a solid eight dude. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say eight. Maybe the editing is like really fucking good. And the shots really good. And and half her face is covered up. I'm gonna say eight, bro. I'm gonna say eight. Hey Jerry, what do you think, Jerry? Wait, one one to ten. Ten being freaking model, wifey. Top hottest chick, wife up chick, and hunt zero being super unattractive. Obviously, we kind of want to go there. What would you rate this uh, young lady, this beautiful Hmong girl? All these are just from photographers. Um, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the next one. Oh, okay. Madison Shong. Madison Jane. These numbers are too high. <laughs> uh, am I a simp, dude? Am I simping right now? Is that what it is? Ah, man. May you get rid of five? Okay, what about Madison, though? I mean, she she's cute, right? Madison, she's cute. Um, she seemed like she's got good jugs. She seems like she's got her life together, to be honest. She looks like she's a good Instagram model, to be honest. She's got 300 likes, five shares. Okay, sure. Um, but I'm going to give Madison an eight, bro. I'm going to give Madison an eight. She looked like a wifey to me, to be honest. But she also looks kind of like too much of an Instagram model. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? And what's your, what's your number? Yo, give give your rating on the chat, guys. Give your rating on the chat, Jay. Yeah, I, I, this is this is simping mentality, dude. But I have to admit though, Madison is kind of cute. Though. I'm not I have to say she she's hot, cute. You know. Uh, I'm, I'm giving Madison an 8, dude. A solid 8. No 7s, Anthony. Uh, no 7s, by the way. We can't rate them on a 7. Only 6. You can do 6.9. You can go uh, 8.1, but no 7s. Only 8. Six, uh, 6 and below, 8 and above. Cause 7 is like, you know, you're being nice. You know, it's in the middle, right? Jerry, a 5? Jerry, this is a five to you? Wait, so what what is a uh what's a ten to you then? Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. Oh Leo, she can look cute. And she and she's a yang. Okay, fuck with that. Oh whoa, this chick is gorgeous, dog. Hey, I I still I still mess with some yangs, man. Six point nine. Oh man, now you trolling, doc. <laughs> Fucking trolling, dude. Oh. Uh, she kind of cute though. This chick is cute. Um, 
Wow, her smile, bro. Hey, shout out to Chris, man. Top fan. You he right, man. That smile is something else, dude. Damn. She she beauty. She beauty. I'm gonna give her a I'm gonna give her a solid A2, dude. Holy macaroni and cheese. And this is not me simping, dude. This is not me simping, dog. There's no way. Why am I? My ass. I'm lagging, guys. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Okay. I think we already rated this, this chick. No, 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 no. Facebook, don't do this to me. Oh, fuck, bro. A 10 is a kind of... Show me a 10, dude. I want to know your 10. Who is controlling my computer, bro? 10 is like your 20. And that makes... Bro, you, 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 bro your ratio, bro. You, the fuck? <laughs> well, you, you've been seeing 5 all day today, dude. You've been seeing 5 all day today. And your, your ratio is a funny, bro. But my computer is really acting okay. So thanks thanks for being patient, guys. Bro, who who is controlling my my stuff, bro? I'm swear to God. Um, I just have OBS, right? This is kind of scary, to be honest. Five is average. Five, I think five, five is ugly. Yeah, what up, Victor? What's going on? Victor thrown in the bud. You know, one thing that I, I'm not sure, but like I remember, um, my uh, ex girlfriend called me. She was like, "I'm visiting from Forbidden Pages for the Forbidden Pages." I see. These victors, these are not forbidden pages. These are, um, yeah, okay, I have to admit, it. these are kind of forbidden. Bro, my computer's acting up, guys. Sorry, guys. Thank you for your patience. By the way, we read this chick right here, solid fucking eight, right? We're going back to block one, solid eight, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. One is ugly, five is average. Yeah, you know what? We, we gotta start. You know, we gotta switch it up and start rating uh, ugly chicks. I hate to say it, but I said it. I guess start rating ugly chicks. Um. By the way, I'm gonna close out this chat. Sorry, sorry, Sophia. She's awesome, by the way. Shout out to Sophia. So, what's up, Anthony and Victor? Oh. I'm gonna have a group with Anthony. Yo, you got y'all got some really high standards, man. Y'all some really high standards, bro. You guys gotta show me a fucking ten, dude. I want to see a ten from you guys. Like, if these girls are average for you guys, like, what's a 10? Kim Kardashian type babe? And does a 10 have to involve only the face? Okay, I think when I click on a photo, it's like, it kind of, oh, what about this chick? I think this chick, um, hmm, that's interesting. One to ten, guys. Maybe you should, maybe you should just, you just got low standards. 
<laughs> you guys got to show me a 10, man. I want to see you guys as 10. Uh, what about this chick, guys? Uh, she seems like a nice girl. She seems like she's well-dressed. The tattoo is kind of nice. Um, I'm going to say I'm gonna say a solid um, 6.5, man, on this one. 6.5 on this on this on this new one she's got um uh, a nice purse she's got a nice bone cheek i'm not sure if it's that's just like from the makeup but she looks like she's you know well dressed six yeah i i, I agree <clears throat> six sounds about right Sounds like a pretty average chick. Average, but uh, yeah, not really eye catching. <sighs> Come on, go down, 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 down. Yeah, the lag is real, I'm telling you guys. All right, so it's funny because like uh, some of these um, girls on here, like I personally, like I have them with friends on Facebook too. I'm gonna skip this one because I think she's married, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go next, and I think I have it on Facebook too, bro. And it's weird talking about people. Oh, oh, what about this one? I, I know Shaw. So this is shout out to Shaw. So we're going to give Shaw a solid fucking rating. Right? No makeup is probably top tier. Um, Victor, when did, when's the last time you found a legit girl that has no makeup that has never? Natural beauty, bro. I want to see one. I want to meet one. Introduce me to one. So, shout out to Shaw. I'm man, Shaw. I hate to say, it, but it looks kind of like filtered. Is it just me? Like it almost looks like she almost looked like an anime character. It looks too good. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna give Shaw. I mean Shaw, you're. I I, I met Shaw before, and I know who she is. I'm going to rate my friend. I'm going to go with 8. I'm going to be generous and say 8.5. If I had a chance, if I had a chance to shoot my shot with Shua, I would do it in a heartbeat. She's she she's a beauty man. She's a beauty, but I just never uh, had the chance or you know really got the chance to talk to her. But she's one of the most uh, I say, um, you know, better looking mongrels. Um, but I can't speak. So, hey Victor, man, show me show me a girl with no makeup, top tier beauty, no makeup. Give it to me. It could be a celebrity. It could be anybody. I just want to see um, the natural beauty out of it. Where, Victor? Where could I find these top tiers? Trader Joe's, Walmart, Target. Okay, I'm just going to press exit. Oh, yeah. So, shout out to show out your... Solid eight and a half. But you know that that filter really messes me up though, man. I think she's got a filter. Her eyes are looking way too gorgeous. Like it's it looks green, you know? Like it's gotta be a filter, bro. So matter of fact, I'm gonna change my number and I'm gonna go back to an eight because since she used the filter, you're going back to an eight because that's cheating, man. I guess you already cheated your way up to an eight with the makeup so using the filter you're cheating even more mm, i'm gonna go back with the eight man i'm gonna go back with the eight you said flea market <laughs> all right I'm, I'm gonna go with the last girl last girl 
Man, my, my computer is hella acting up on the 11th. <laughs> Truck styles, man. Uh, I think they call them, uh, they call those girls, uh, lizards or something like that. Lizard, lizard chicks. Hundred dollars, man. You get, get yourself a good time. Uh, okay, to be honest, I don't know if this chick is even 18. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go past this, this one. Cause she looks super young. She looks like she's 15. Um, let's see. Okay, this one's, uh, yeah, ideal. Anna, her. We're going to Anna. We're gonna check out Anna's pictures. One thing that I don't get, man, like, isn't one fucking photo enough? And you're, you're literally posting... 20 photos on really the same pose. Isn't it one enough? Like, why do I need to see 50 photos? That That's sometimes I normally get, man. I understand you take a lot of photos, but you don't need to post fucking 50 photos. But I am going to check out all 50 photos. Okay, so um, Anna, her. She looks older, I have to say. She looks like she's hitting her 30s. Her peak is right now, and her peak is going down. After, in a couple of years, her peak is going to go down real quick. Because she looks like she's aging pretty damn good. Okay, so this is um, a different pose, right? Okay, let's just go page next. You know what? I do like this. This pose. I like this picture. I wonder why she chose this one to post. Is it because her jawline is popping up more? Or is it the body of her shape? Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to continue. Different angles to jerk off to. <laughs> I ain't never met a person that jerk off to these kind of photos. I lied. I have before, but that was back in the day. That was that was not today. I'm a different me. It's not today, but I can understand the different angles. Hmm. Hmm. Her makeup's on point, though. I love her makeup. She has really good makeup. Um, but I do want to see her. Without makeup, though. <sighs> Next photo. This is probably not the best photo. Just because her body is aligned with the wall. Like this wall right here. And it's just not please a pleasing photo. So whoever took this photo got in worse. Like it just got the photo angle got worse and worse. The pose is, is decent. But the angle of the Photo is got bad. Ah, oh, damn! I hate to say it, but she ain't got no ass. Shit, girl, hit the gym. I mean, she should just hit this photo. I mean, I thought she had something, but after this reveal, she went from an eight to a six, dude. I hate to say it, but. That went down to the eight, real down to the six, real quick. Yeah, sorry. Oh, the different angle. Okay, great. She looks so much. She looks so different with the smile. Holy crap! She looks really innocent, really innocent. Interesting. Now she went up to that six point five, just cause that smile. It's different. The innocent look, I, I, I fuck with that. She has, she has like that, that hot look, and then that smile gives it the innocent look. So I'm gonna go back to a six point five. This one she covered her face, which she should, cause too many of her face already. Wow, she looks so different when she's not smiling, dude. Like holy shit, complete different person. 
Holy macaroni and cheese. By the way, this is the best photo out of all the photos because it shows her shape. Um, it kind of gives her some confidence in it. And, like, that angle is really good, man. Anna, Anna, you, your makeup is on point, girl. Keep at it. Your makeup is on fucking point. But you got to hit the gym, though, girl. You got to start hitting the gym and losing that, that stomach and getting that booty back. You know what I'm saying? Alright, last one, last one, last one, I promise. Oh my gosh. Okay, this chick is unaged, though. I have to admit. So we're gonna go past this one, too. This one is, uh... Wait, graduation photos. She's at least 18, right? Should we go for it? Fuck it! We're going for it. You like that bitch face? Uh, you know, that bitch face is, um, it's pretty hot, I'm gonna be honest. I do like that bitch face. I do. Maybe it's kind of a, like, a thing that I have for myself. But I do like, I do like the innocent look a lot more than the bitch face. I have to admit that. Come on. Okay, so, like. These photos are valid. Different angles, different places. Valid. This photo right here, oh my god. She You know what's funny, man? Like I think she belongs in the five section. But just because she looks so innocent and she looks like she's educated, to be honest. And the photo editing is Fucking phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna have to give her a solid six, dude. She she went up to a five to a six, bro. Oh, there we go. That's... I like that man. She put she's petite, man. Petite. I like her. She, is she gonna be a doctor or something? She looks like she's gonna be a doctor or, or a nurse. But th these photos, the photographer did a great job. I give props to the photographer. He did a phenomenal job. Great angle. Kind of harsh on the light, though. I would try to reduce that. Um, nice, nice long lens. I love it. Oh, look at that Hmong, Hmong graduation rope. But she, that's, that's cool. Wait. B-H-S. That's high school. Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Sorry guys. We're not that she's gotta be at least seventeen, dog. We're gonna go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nope. Not dealing with that shit. Nope. Okay, so so for the longest time. Uh these photos without makeup. So man, these uh these we don't know. But I'm assuming these photos are with makeup. I mean, that's why they look so damn good, right? <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a dog. Photographer gets an 8. <laughs> You're right, man. Photographer gets an 8. Then, ah, uh, that's funny. Alright, so, um, so this chick right here, surprisingly... I thought for the longest time she was uh, not Hmong. Yeah, I thought that she was not Hmong. I thought she was uh, like Chinese for the longest time. <laughs> but she, uh, she, dude, she honestly, she she's been my she's been my Facebook crush for the longest time. Just look at that, dude. wifey bro oh my god holy macaroni whoever is dating this woman is in luck and whoever if this is your sister cousin whatever it may be you have a hot sister and cousin man she's hot that's a weird photo to post she's opening her mouth as if she's innocent. 
I mean, she looks great. She looks great what she's doing. But that's a weird photo to post, though. You know what I mean? What is she doing? Is she purposely doing it because she knows we like that shit? Hmm. Great marketing. Okay, so you know where's my where my eye went, and I'm like, holy shit! I was just this photo is a teaser, cause you see something, but you're like, what is that? Do you do you see something? She knew what she was doing when she posted this video. I mean, this photo. She knew what she was doing, man. We need a point of view of the proper rating. <sighs> That's true. You know what? Next time I'm gonna I'm gonna post it up on here. Um But she uh she is a solid fucking eight point nine. I'm a simp, I'm a simp, I'm a simp, I'm a simp. But bro, let me tell you, man, I've been she's been my internet crush for the longest time. And then I found out that she is Hmong. And I'm like, whoa, bro. I got a chance. I got a chance. I don't have a chance, dog. Another one. I like I like how she's kind of like going like that and like she's being vulnerable with her neck, you know. I think it's kind of sexy. But she's been like, you know, doing this a lot, like putting her arms up and whatnot. She's 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 a cutie though. Hey, whoever knows her, please tag her for me. Please, please. I would put a ring on that freaking chick. Who's that? Hey, uh, sh this is, um, Lena Lee. I think she's half Hmong, bro. I'm be honest with you. Lee is not a, uh, how you spell Lee like that is not Hmong. I think she's half. She's gotta be a mix, right? She looks like a mix. And she's a beauty. I'm gonna give her a 8.9. She's my highest rating so far. Okay. Erika, her. This one's kind of tough, bro. This one's kind of tough. She looks, she looks so innocent, dude. Like I don't even want to rate her, bro. She's like my sister, bro. She looks, she, she's a beauty, but she looks so innocent. I don't want to rate her. Like, I'm gonna give her a six. I know she's, she's, you know, she looks friendly. She looks like she can help me with my, with my math homework. She looks like somebody I would cheat off in Spanish class. Yeah, I'm going to give her a six. There's, there's no way I'm going to go. Her eyebrow though. Her eyebrow's on point. But how much is that is real, right? Damn. Fuck, 70, 70 guys know her. What do you mean by that? 70 guys know her. Oh, 70 guys are on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. And I'm, I'm, I'm one of them, bro. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. No shame. Okay, so automatically, I'm not even going to rate this lady because I already know what I'm going to give her. And I don't want to give her uh, that rating. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go past it's as if I didn't we didn't see that. Okay. We're gonna be nice and we're gonna just scroll past, you know, what you just saw there. See the thing, the thing about these these professional photographers is that they're making these girls look so damn good. Holy shit, dude! They're like freaking AIs. So she, she likes it. She wants no trauma in her life. Peter, say your sister is uh, what? Peter, you think? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't think Peter thinks my sister is hot. Okay, so she looks like she has no trauma in life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? She looks like she's, she's been a bad girl, but she's never gotten caught. 
being a bad girl. I know. Because she, she got, because that girl before, she had tattoos on her. So she's kind of like a little baddie, you know. But she's she's like a secret baddie, baddie you know. But she's like good to her parents. But with her friends, she's probably like a thought. But she's probably friend zone so many guys too. In a way, like I, I will feel like I'll friend zone her in heartbeat. But I'm gonna go past this one because I, I'm she looks underage, so I'm gonna go past this one. And the the photography is unfair, man. Shit, Lily, unfair, bro. It's too good. I'm I'm slowly scrolling. And this chick is married. We're we're going right past her. Cause I know her. I have her Facebook somewhere. Uh, Tiana. I don't know if I. I don't know if I want to talk about this chick. Cause. Okay. All right. Um. I have to admit, man. Not to be an asshole, but. She looks like a good time. You know? She looks like a good time. And... I will break her heart, dude. I hate to say it. But, Liana... Um, we can be really good friends. We can be really good friends. And... I can see you... I can see her being my baby mama, though. Her, Yeah. Divorce papers for sure. Um, maybe a year in. She just looks like such a good time. Hate to say it. Where's the shaker mom is at? Hey Lang, what's up, Lang? What's going on? Good to see you, bro. It kind of looks like she's got trauma. Yeah, man. She she looks like she's um. She's got something to prove, you know. And. I don't got time for that, man. I ain't got time. But I do have time for a good time. <sighs> I feel like an asshole just saying that, to be honest, dog. Victor, should we do cougars next? I think we should do cougars, huh? Come on. My, my computer's lagging hella bad, guys. Hey, um, uh, but I'm probably gonna add Tiana later on Facebook, so um, watch out for that ad. Friend requests coming your way. I would totally add her right now, but my computer's lagging, so I'm not even gonna try. Like, I, I can barely go into the next page right now. You know what's crazy? Uh, this guy Chris right here, the top fan. See that guy in the bottom, the comments. Bro, he, he, um, he's lit at every comment, bro. Shout out to Chris. Hey, Chris, man. I'm gonna, we're gonna go to Vegas and we're gonna find you a real girl. There we go. My computer's acting up, guys. It's acting up. Says so she looked like she got some money. Tiana looks like she got some money? From, from where, though, huh? From, from where? Uh, she, she got the long back. Ah, uh, shit, man, y'all, y'all, y'all some filthies. Y'all some filthies. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm lagging right now, guys. Like, I'm going back to the freaking beginning of this page, bro. And, like, I gotta scroll all the way down again. See all those young kids. And then. Okay, so, out of all the girls that we rated, though. I'm gonna have to say, bro. If I can wife some, wife one of them, it's gonna have to go down to two, two, three people. Okay, so, oh man, so we're gonna go down. I think this one is gonna be the one for me, bro. Yeah, I hate to say it, bro. I hate to say it, but I think this one right here. She just looks so wifey, you know, like she's not hot. She's not like ugly. She just looks, looks so wifey, bro. Okay. Um, 
Look at that, bro. Like, nothing. There's no, like. She's not showing any whole tendencies. Like, the tr traditional clothes. The smile look back. Oh, man. Look at that. See, she's trying to show her, f her figure here where she is, but she's covering so much, which is great. That is wifey material, man. You want a girl that is covering herself where, like, she's um, clothed and, like, us men have to picture how her body looks like without her showing us her body. That's the beauty of this uh, picture of or this woman. Man, trust. She looks like a young Daniel Rio. Yeah, yeah, she does. She does, huh? She does. Nah, think about it. You're right. She does. Is that gold diggers? <sighs> yeah. That's probably true, man. Half these girls are probably um, in it for the, for the money, but... Like, man, look at that look. Am I... Look at that. Okay, 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 okay. I have to admit, though. I have to admit. She kind of looks like a rabbit. She has, like, the cute, uh, like, nose and face to put together like this. She kind of looks like a rabbit, don't she? Like, and then her eyes are going out like that. Like, she kind of looks like a rabbit. Here's the true test, though. I know we've seen her pictures. I know she's the number one picked out of all the girls we looked at today. The true test is going on to her page. And see what um she how she, what she really is. Okay, from the looking at her uh profile picture already, and she's on a yacht. Is that a fucking yacht? God damn. She's on a yacht, dog. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, she's on a yacht. Okay, this is a true test, dude. This is a true test. Out of all the females, this is probably the best. Philip, I completely agree. Okay, so the test is this. Right? We got to see what she's all about. So she just switched her profile picture six hours ago. She was just on a yacht, bro. She was just on a yacht. Melina. Wait, Mini? Mini? Mina? 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 That's her name, Mina. She's from St. Paul, Minnesota. Of course. I'm um, trying to scroll down more and see what she's about. Oh my god, look at her profile picture, dude. She looks even cuter with normal clothes on. Holy crap. She looks young. She looks like she's 18, though. Right? She looks like she's at least 21. I mean, she's on a yacht. Girls should not be on a yacht if you are underage. That's like the rule. Don't be on a another man's yacht at 15. Okay, so I know I know we're gonna do the worst. We're gonna click on her, po her pictures. I want to see what she's all about. That's just a boat, dude. That looks like a yacht to me, bro. That looks like a legit boat. I mean, yeah. Okay, so come on, uh, let the picture look. Oh, look at her! Look, she looks like a sweetheart. The iPhone quality, the quality to the phone though, it looks like a freaking Nikon of quality. God damn, the pixel, I can see every damn pixel. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, she looks, she looks hella young on this one, bro. You might be right, uh, Peter, man, she looks hella young. Now she looks like she at least 16. This is last year though, this is last year, this is last year, it's great, it's great, it's great, it's great, it's, great. it's last year. September 22nd. 2002 that's last year so she's older now she's maybe 17 turning 18 so we're gonna stick with the 18 she's 18 that glow up though huh shit that glow up though i have to admit she has pretty good glow up even though she has um I, i'm a sucker for petite women though this is petite she, she's she's a, she's a nice body eight hours ago is she drinking water? Look at her, bro. She's drinking water, dude. She's getting hydrated, bro. But that looks like a shot, though. That looks like it's, it's too low for water. Oh, 
Oh, look, 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 look. And she's shaman. So you can see her, her thing. She's shaman. She be, you know, uh, the neck pose. Something about the, the neck pose. Like, revealing the neck, dude. Like, I'm a sucker for that, too. She knows exactly what I want, man. I feel like we're getting, uh, I feel like we're in a relationship already. Oh, look. Look how cute this is. Flower. She looks like she's about to go to Hawaii. She looks like she's about to go on vacation with me, dude. Oh, man. That's, that's cute. That's cute. Bro, she looks like she got no makeup on on this one, though. She legit looks like she got no makeup. Victor, I think we got a girl, bro. I think we got a girl with no makeup on. Like, holy crap. Oh, my God. There is no makeup. I think we got the girl, bro. Like, with makeup, she's like, you know, the like Instagram model, but without makeup, she looks so innocent. Holy crap. Oh, my. Oh, back to the these photos. Oh, no more. She's, she looks kind of tall. I'm not going to say shit about this photo, though. You see, yeah, Victor says, Shaman, her red flag? Hey man, shaman girls are loyal, bro. They they're traditional, man. Like they they cook for you, they take care of you. Like you got you gotta mess with the shaman girl, man. Shaman girls are what's up. That's that's what you're missing out, man. Shaman girls. They don't go to they don't go to church like that, bro. Like they spend every Sunday with you watching football. Shaman girls, bro. Trust, trust. I'm I'm really digging this this chick though. Look at her, her great smile! Holy crap! She's going to museums. Look how artsy she is, dude. She's oh, oh my god, bro. This photo, you know, you don't need to post this photo, girl. Okay, showing too much. I have to admit, bro, she looks Thai. She looks like she's Thai. Holy shit, is this a fucking homecoming? <sighs> bro, I think this is fucking homecoming at high school, bro. There's fucking white girls in the back dressed. <sighs> it looks like high school. <sighs> Oh. What am I doing? <sighs> That's it, man. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go. I can't do this. <sighs> these pages, these beautiful mongrels pages, yeah, y'all got at least be eighteen to be on this page, bro. We cannot be underage and be on this damn page, okay? Damn. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I naturally just clicked on the notifications. <laughs> um, fuck. Okay, okay. I, I do. I do have one more chick that we're gonna visit before shit really happens. Right? And I for sure this chick is overage because this chick doesn't count anymore because she's obviously just been the homecoming this past year, man. <sighs> That's unreal. Come on, click, click. Sorry about the lag, guys. Leonardo DiCaprio, bro. Leonardo, bro. Can you believe that Leonardo was messing with Logan Paul's fiance? That's been going around for a minute too. I know. Probably a gala. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. This, there's no gala in this, bro. This, that's, that's a fucking homecoming. That's homecoming, bro. 
That is a high school homecoming that she was at. Did you see the white girls at the back? They look like they're freaking in freshmen and or just got out from um, middle school. There's no way that is a gala, dude. That is homecoming high school. No way. We're taking we're taking no chances, man. We're not, I'm not trying to go to jail, bro. I'm not trying to go to jail. No way. No way, Jose. Hey, what up? You paying? What's going on, brother? Okay, so okay, so there's this one girl. I'm gonna we're gonna go through this one girl before uh, we end uh, this chat. And before we go to the one girl, I need to swap the battery out. My battery is dying. B R. Sorry guys, thank you for your patience. <clears throat> Gotta go Laos or Thailand, bro. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey man, we need a passport, bro. Come in with me, man. Join me. Let's go, passport, passport, bros, man. Let's do it, Ling. Let's do it, Ling. Are we back on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. We are back on, and I'm gonna go uh, try to scroll. Okay, so there's one more chick that I thought was uh, super gorgeous, and she was actually one of the top ones that are over age. That is over age. Uh, let's see here. Who's this chick right here? Holy macaroni and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. She looks like she's artificial, though, I'm be honest with you. Hey, like, every time you went you went overseas, um, you, like, did you ever, like, pay for prostitution? I heard it's good, though. I've never paid, but I don't mind trying. Now I just sound like a disgusting man. She's a fucking yang. <sighs> Not that that has wrong with me before. All right, just because she's a yang, bro, I'm gonna pass. I hate to say it, but I had to pass, dude. She's a beauty though. I'm such a beauty. Um <laughs> Sure I know her. I don't wanna go through her stuff because it's kinda creepy for you creeping up on a friend, right? Underage, I'm gonna not go in there. I'm a beautiful girl, but not going there. What if all these are guys? I'm scared. What if all these are guys? What do you mean? Like all the girls from um, from where? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't be wishing that these guys, these lady boys, are uh, guys all the time. Security prevent software posting event. Oh, fuck, bro! Something's going wrong with my computer. Oh, um, I think that's that's the world telling me to fucking stop streaming. So, damn, something's going on, guys. Um, weird security thing is happening, and it's telling me the universe is telling me to stop streaming. So. I'm gonna end it here. It's been a good good stream. I'm gonna next week. Peter will be back, and we'll be back to a regular schedule. And of course, we're gonna do the whatever. What would you rather do? And uh, thank you for joining me on these ratings on these girls, man. And um, 
We'll see you guys next week, Thursday. Peace. Um, I like how I said that I'm saying that, and I'm not ending stream yet. So, um, stop streaming. All right, guys, we'll share this time. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> I got caught. Um, well, the girls with the I was dating and spent a lot of money. So yeah, kind of say. Like, I think I think you you're getting bad luck with these with these girls, man. These girls are gold digging you too much. Um, but guys, let's um. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Goodbye stream. It's been a fun stream with you guys. Uh, shout out to everyone that's been on chat, just chatting. Uh, it feels like we're. It feels